I don't like that guy one bit. I got four boxes of English set five, One Piece Awakening of the New Era. Four box opening, short in time. All right, so I'm just gonna talk a little bit about card games and me getting into card games, how it all happened and how I feel about them. Because I love card games. So, you know, I started collecting Pokemon when I was a kid. Like, who didn't collect Pokemon? Bless them. And I, uh, I didn't really play the Pokemon card game that much when I was a kid. I think I more, you know, enjoyed the shiny cards and I was interested in the art. It appealed to me. It's cute. It's cool. I like the collecting aspect and like the thrill of opening packs. I mean, I've enjoyed the thrill of opening packs my whole life. Like that. Secret rare. Luffy. Very nice. Feels great. Even though it's just a secret rare. From this set, that card, I'll open it any day. Um, yeah, I always really enjoyed like opening packs since I was a kid. And I collected his art. Kaido, Luffy, Dong. Um, I always really enjoyed opening packs and shrimping. But I kind of stopped collecting cards after Pokemon. I bought a couple, you know, Marvel cards here and there, but nothing really like too much. Just a couple of packs. Oh, Pika. This is our first alt art from this case, actually. This is a fresh case, by the way. This is the first four boxes from this case. And I would love to pull that signature Oda Luffy. But I digress. Yeah, so I started opening Pokemon cards when I was a kid. I, I really enjoyed it. And then, you know, opened a few packs of things here and there. I think I opened a little Pokemon when I was in high school. But I was really into Dragon Ball growing up. And um, I went to Japan after college because I had studied Japanese art history and got really interested in Dragon Ball from kind of a Japanese cultural perspective. And they had this game called Dragon Ball Heroes. And when I saw those cards, I mean, I don't know if any of you are familiar with Dragon Ball or Dragon Ball Heroes, but the cards in Dragon Ball Heroes and the characters, they're all like the kind of theorized, made up characters. There's a lot of characters that are fusions of characters that don't actually happen in the show. And things that when I was a kid, I would like theorize about them. So it was really fun to open or to see those cards and once I found card shops in Japan, I was like, well, I don't have to just play this arcade game and get single cards. I can go actually just pick the cards that I want. And I bought a lot of Dragon Ball Heroes cards, like a lot of Dragon Ball Heroes cards. But I didn't really play the game that much. I was really only playing it to like get the cards out of it. But after going to uh, Japan and seeing these cards, and I continued collecting them. You know, I'd go on eBay and whenever cards came up, is it the blessing? Is there an altar in the blessing? There's a chance that there is just a kid. Um, I started going to Japan and I started collecting more and more, and I'd collect them on eBay. And then when I was in dental school, I said my I got my start on YouTube. I started making videos for this game called Marvel Contest of Champions. I don't know if you've all ever heard of it, but Marvel Contest of Champions is a uh, phone scrolling fighting game, and I played it a lot. I spent probably way too much time playing it. Alright, well actually it's kind of good that we pulled some butt because when you pull butt sometimes it means it's a manga. Bless him. Which we may not see in this video, but I'm going to be doing three, four box openings. So stay tuned for the full shrimping experience of this case. And maybe we'll see some heat come out of it in one of these. Could be a signature Oda. No, that's not a signature Oda. That's a Gadatsu. Yeah, the foiling on this is crazy. Really, really sick texture. Like the, the the distance they've come with the technology, the printing technology and this stuff. Anyway, well, after I quit that game, I needed something to fill the gaming void because I spent a lot of time playing that game. So I started playing the Dragon Ball Super card game because I was at Comic Con and I saw some Dragon Ball Super cards. I'm sure a lot of you have heard this story. I've told it many, many times. But I saw some Dragon Ball Super cards and they looked so sick. It was specifically a Hide of Mastery card. Hide of Mastery is like an Ultra Instinct Goku, the guy, the big guy behind me. And I was super into the art. So I started collecting the game and I met this guy that recommended that I try playing it. So I started playing it and I really enjoyed it a lot. I mean, I think it helped that I liked Dragon Ball. I think when you like the story of Dragon Ball, the Dragon Ball Super card game is a lot more appealing. 
I have no idea what's going on with it right now. I actually have two cases sitting over there. So if there's any Dragon Ball fans watching, I will be opening some Dragon Ball in the foreseeable future because I want to try and pull that God Rare Goku. But yeah, I started playing Dragon Ball Super Card Game. I was having a lot of fun with friends playing that. I started going to locals. I got more and more into it. And I started thinking more and more about card games in general and how I really like, you know, it's this crazy thing that we take these little paper rectangles and we put them down on an oversized mouse pad and the things can make people feel like you don't need to say a word but you can make people feel such crazy things by just putting these little pieces of cardboard down oh we got an altar is it a i would love a luffy 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 is an l that's and then, ooh, sweet i haven't pulled that one so that's hype very very cool looking card i do like my alt art better i don't know if you all have seen but uh here at kaizoku cards i made an alt art let's take a look at the two yeah i do i do enjoy mine quite a bit so uh you know if you want to check this out it's available at kaizoku cards feel free to pick it up i do like this art a lot better but of course this is the official one so it's nice to have an official one that's cool two yellow uh two yellow cards in a box and even with opening, I mean, crazy stuff like that, you know, like, you all watched, if you, any of you have watched some of my videos, I've summoned some crazy cards, like the, the, the amount of magic that's in opening packs, stripping cards, and like the culture, I made some ulti, ulti alt art, I made some of my best friends cracking cards, best friends in the world, just from stripping me, stripping me like crazy, and uh, open lots of cards, I got two of my homies right now in the other room, they're sorting cards for me, Brandon and Brian. They are my boys. They help me out all the time. We actually haven't played in a long time. They've literally just been helping me sort. I feel bad. I want to play games with them. But I also need my cards sorted because i got to start training for Nats. And isn't that going to be something? There won't be anything in this level. Isn't that going to be something wild? Nationals. Talking about that, going to events. Like, going to a card event. If any of you have ever been to a big event, it's so much fun. You get to meet so many new people. You make all these friends. You have all these wild experiences. I mean, like, the last event I was at was in Orlando. And I did top. I got 23rd out of a large pool of people. I got my invite to Nationals to uh, pass down, which is very lucky. Um, which I'm hoping I keep up my luck in this game. One Piece seems to like me a little better than Dragon Ball. Bless him. I did bubble out in Nationals of Dragon Ball. I got 17th, but we'll see. We'll see how this, this year goes with this story of One Piece. It's a One Piece card game. But, oh, come on. Luffy, 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 Luffy. Takazuki. Everybody wants this leader, so I think it'll be valuable. But I don't want to play him. I don't like that guy. I don't like that guy one bit. Speaking of Sakazuki, though, let me show you my Sakazuki leader from Kaizoku Cards. I got this Sakazuki leader. This is actually a... Uh, limited release I'm going to be doing. This is not the final foil variation, but just to show, it's kind of like a bounty poster. I worked on this with HZ19. Pretty uh, pretty cool art he's got going on here. It's been a real pleasure working with him. Even him, he's through this card game. If I wasn't playing card games, I would have never met this amazing artist that I worked with so closely. He's become a great friend, and I got to watch his art grow and blossom. So, so many connections with people through these little pieces of paper. And, you know, I've talked about this in some of my other videos, but I, I really enjoyed studying Japanese woodblock printing when I was in college. And I think um, Japanese trading cards are really the modern manifestation of that. And I think the One Piece card game did the anniversary product that they did all the Japanese woodblock style cards. So I thought that was a really cool homage to the history of where these this printing comes from. Because One Piece in general, I mean, Oda loves Japanese art. He's a Japanese artist, and you see a lot of see a lot of Japanese art history influence in his work and in the story, uh, in the art of One Piece and the different parts of the story. It's all it's all sprinkled through it, Wano especially. So, lots of really cool references in there, and it's really cool in I think One Piece especially does a really good job of bringing a lot of those pieces together and. One Piece is such a massive story, it's such a massive IP. Ooh, Luchi SP. We already pulled one of those actually in the last case we opened, so not like super hype because it's not something new, but I think that's it. I think when you pull an SP, I think those are all the hits in the box. In the case we pulled or opened previously for the case opening video, every box that had an SP only had one alt art leader and one SP. And I'm pretty sure actually Luchi and Sakazuki were in the same box. 
feel like I remember that because it's dumb. But yeah, I think like all, the way that all the different pieces are brought together and there's so many different people that are into One Piece. It's such a massive story. There's so many people from different walks of life. And when you know the story of One Piece, it like changes you. You become like a One Piece person. So especially people that are into the IP that come out to play this game, come to events and have a good time jamming. It's like, it's a really, really cool thing. It's a really amazing community to be a part of. I feel so lucky to have been aware of this game so early on because you know I've been in it since set one and I was kind of one of the first people to be making videos me and Chaz and a couple other guys we were early on in the game making videos the whole time and oh bless them there's not gonna be anything in here but I gotta, gotta strip them anyway yeah oh this is my favorite panel also favorite moment favorite looping moment that's a lot that's a live stripping question so remember that fourth box of the video but yeah it, it's like you, you know you go to these events and meet so many different people and make so many different kinds of friends and the interactions you have right like there's the competition aspect but there's also the community aspect bless them people you see again and again i mean i was just in chicago last weekend and i saw one of my buddies from the oh luchi out of the first pack this altar is hot rainbow luchi just coming in we just pulled the sp from the other set now we got the alt art hot hot heat what else is gonna come on let's get the what is that where's that where's that signature odo luffy that's what i really want if you want to know what i really want one piece card game it's the signed oda luffy that's what i'm looking for but any manga would be sick as well um but yeah, my buddy Chris Jordan, we, we, we met through Dragon Ball, and we haven't seen each other in a while. I think the last time we saw each other was like Gen Con, when I got canceled from Dragon Ball and jumped, jumped full steam into One Piece. But uh, yeah, we hadn't seen each other in a long time, and it was really fun catching up. I mean, he like picked me up, we drove around, he showed me a card shop, we got to hang out, I got to give him some shiny, shiny cards, I made some new friends, shop over there. Um, and even like this card printing stuff I do with Kaizo's with cards, I totally wouldn't have gotten into any of this if it wasn't for this space. So I feel really lucky to know about this. I think trading cards are not something that everybody knows about. It's a really amazing uh, community, communities, but One Piece especially. Definitely the best. Definitely the best game, coolest cards, best art, best design, just all the best. Especially that signature Oda Luffy. Let's pull one of those. There should still be. There's probably going to be a secret rare in here. It might just be a secret, uh, just a secret rare. I feel like there's a Kaido coming. Up. I feel like Kaido and, and Luchi would be in the same box. I feel like that tracks. We're getting close. Almost the end of these four boxes. There's our Kaido. I knew he was in there, hiding out. And there could still be one more altar in here, it's possible. But I kind of, I feel like this is a one altar, one secret box. Those ratios seem to be the same. It was cool. In this in this video, I kind of got to see a description. Got to see one of the boxes with one of the altar leaders and uh, the SP. And there should be, still should be some Oda Luffy's. Oda Luffy, let's go. Could it be in here? We're gonna find it. Another Luchi. Start on Luchi, end on Luchi. So these are the pulls from these four boxes. Got a Kaido secret, a Luchi alt art, Luchi SP, Sakazuki alt art, Ulti, Enel, Kidatsu, Pika, and Luffy. Nice spread. Thanks for checking it out. I'm a dentist. I can't end without a dental tooth tip. My dental tooth tip to you would be try and introduce a new thing into your dental routine. You know, challenge yourself. If you don't floss, try to start flossing. If you don't use mouthwash, try to start using mouthwash. But if you use mouthwash, use one that doesn't have dye and no alcohol. I'd recommend one with fluoride also. I really like Listerine Naturals. That's the one I like to use. Anyway, thanks for coming to check it out, and I'll see y'all in the next one.